Hello everyone and welcome back to Classic Cricket Matches. Today I have highlights uh, from the Pakistan-Sri Lanka series that took place in 2007. Uh, this series uh, was a three uh, one-day match series that took place right after the 2007 World Cup. If uh, you all remember, 2007, the 2007 World Cup was a very disastrous campaign for Pakistan where they exited the first round after losing uh, to Ireland. And Sri Lanka had a decent World Cup where they finished as the semi-finalists. Uh, so uh, the captain of the Pakistan uh, team was Inzamam al Haq, who was a captain for a good uh, three plus years, uh, had retired uh, as the one day captain after the 2007 World Cup, and the new captain was Shoy Malik. So, this was actually Shoy Malik's captaincy debut, uh, which started with a three one day game series against Sri Lanka, uh, which took place in Abu Dhabi in 2007. Before we begin, I would like to ask you to please press that subscribe and like button below as it would really help this channel. Without further ado, please enjoy the highlights of the first game where Sri Lanka won the toss and elected to bat first. Under a new captain, Shred Malik, and there are the two teams. There's Pakistan's team, in fact, first. Imran Nazir Salman, but will open the innings. Under a new captain, Shred Malik, and there are the two teams. There's Pakistan's team, in fact, first. Imran Nazir Salman, but will open the innings. Yasser Amid is also an important selection at number three. Then Shred Malik is finally decided to bat at four. Yusuf. He's got plenty of experience as class. He comes in to stabilize the middle order. And then the big hitters, Afridi, Razak, Hamran Akmal, and Sri Lanka have got a very, very settled unit in to tease and conquer Pakistan. It's not going to be easy. They've got the, the uh, slinger Malinga in there. Also, Malinga Bandara who can spin the ball. So, plenty of options for uh, Sri Lanka. And uh, the battle starts. the edge, streaky shot, Taranga off the mark with a single down to third man, big appeal, massive appeal and he's gone, Jay Soria going forward but not a long way forward, Shafts through the umpire. And the first wicket for Pakistan. Well, that one nipped back a little bit. The other one was just going cross, and this one never looked. Pitched in line, just nipped back a little bit, and he was very late on ball. Hit him on the in front of the middle of stump. It was hitting stumps. You're right, Asif is out. He's gone. It's a big wicket for Pakistan. The first wicket goes. Chesuria gone for one. So it was a pretty confusing. Uh, Batting lineup. That one hit through the cover beautifully. That was pitched up a little bit and smashed through the cover. Well, with that, their best shot of the innings, the first boundary of the Sri Lankan innings. Just a little bit of width for Taranga. Good on the up in the air. It was good enough to pick the gap. And Sammy just not getting that one to swing back in to the left hander. And Taranga was good enough. the fielder, there'll be more than one. Three off the over, 25 for one. You see the face is tense. No, that certainly will release some pressure. It's an excellent cut shot. Really was marvelously well played by the batsman. Kapu Dave really stroked it well, got to the top of the ball this way in one day cricket. And Shahid Afridi missed it completely. And that's got to be frustrating for somebody like Mohammed Sami. He wants to create an impression, impression on the opposition and also to pick up a wicket to uh, get a bit of confidence. Step flew at the uh, slip cordon, catchable height. And uh, I reckon what. Short. Excellent work from Salman, but I think he, he deliberately delayed his pickup 
to entice the batsman in taking that risk for the second one. Upul Karanga is the man out. Wonderful piece of uh, fielding from Salman, but the throw was uh, rocket-like. And, so, and uh, the keeper did extremely well to get rid of the bales very quickly. Joyce Pakistani camp, Upul Karanga. Spirited Pakistani team here, spurred by the crowd, big crowd here of Pakistani supporters. And the camp really will be happy with uh, this Salman Bhatt effort. This is uh, Mohammad Asif's effort. Showing a bit of aggression to the Sri Lankan captain very early in the innings. and drives well past the point that's running down to the boundary. Soft beginning from uh, goal. With and uh, that is all what Mahela J. Wortney wanted. Once again a half ball and this time driven straight up. Last extra call for four. Another quality drive. Milled it beautifully and uh, yeah, sort of stump. Uh, just went with the one hand. And he's got away with it. Thought it might have got him in the boundary before. And that's the 50 up now for Sri Lanka. No ball called as well. It's pulled away. It's gonna go for four. Nowhere near out of the middle of the bat. Very quick outfield. Or wide of first slip. So ball unlucky. Could have easily gone straight first slip. Four more runs to Sri Lanka. That just raced away it would have been a boundary on any ground at the speed that went off. Wide of the slip fielder, the lone slip fielder. Together has played a few edgy shots. But, uh, in this game it counts. No slips means you can take the chance to steer it up. And uh, certainly a good show by the Sri Lankans in the end. He's got him. Kapugadera has got to go. It may have been an inside edge there, but Umar Gul doing the damage. He's been expensive. He's gone through his defences. He's jubilant. He's had it difficult uh, in the first couple of overs, but this has been a good comeback, and uh, Kapugadera not getting nervous. In the air and wide. Back with points, gone away for four streaky shot. To finish the over by the captain, Jay Warner. They don't care how they get them, they're happy. End of the over, 67 for three. It was a, an excellent delivery by Mohammed Salam. Smash through the offside. That really is a classical cover drive. This is where he can go wrong at times, Sami. Over pitching the ball, trying to knock the batsman over with pace. That doesn't happen anymore in cricket because batting has become, or batsmen have become, very good. Well, a 19 overall ball, I don't think it's going to do much off the pitch. Edge and taken. Behind Omar Gold strikes gold. They're on their feet. They know that Pakistan have got rid of a specialist batsman who can change the course of the game. Not to be. Mahela is gone. Well, a big wicket for Pakistan here. Omar Gold strikes for the second time. He got the wicket in the last over, and this one just pitched up a little bit, swung a bit. And they're looking to drive big edge straight to Kamran Nakmo. And that's it. Another wicket. If Pakistan keep taking wickets, Sri Lanka will struggle.
Mahela Jaybird now gone for 18. It's 72 for 4. It's a transporter coming in all shapes and sizes. That's gone. Got inside the line of that one. That's traveled the distance. First six of the innings. Omar Gold trying to bang the ball and uh, trying to outsmart out with the batsman. He was clever enough to uh, see what was coming his way. Good shot. Well, I don't think there was anything wrong with the ball, but it was uh, just there to be hit. Could have been a great delivery if that was the way they bowled. They've been a little expensive. There you go, right chance of a run out there. Oh, oh well, there's another mess there. He might go for five. Five runs. Well, he had to take a risk, a chance, Shweb Malik. Well in patches. It's into the gap. No need to run for that one. It's a cracking drive from Tilak Ratne Dilshan. When he hits, he stays hit. Well, it's so soothing when uh, somebody hit through this uh, cover area. You know, you open the bat, open the face of the bat at the last second. Oh, that's gone right through the wicketkeeper. For four. That really didn't climb at all. Got some bat. But, uh, there's no stopping it. Sakma couldn't get his legs together on time and the four runs to Silva and to Sri Lanka took him by so well spread field for Afridi pulls away that was short and that beats a man on the boundary he picked the gap well brings up the Sri Lankan 100 and the flaps once again come out came nicely that's in there and it's easy an easy catch the leading edge looked to work it down the leg side. The ball again slowing down on him and presenting a very, very easy catch to uh, Umagul at Medon. The Pakistanis have every reason uh, to be happy, just not allowing a partnership to build. And Dilshan playing a little early, getting a leading edge, and Gul takes a simple catch. So Sri Lanka are now deep in trouble. Abdul Razak picking up that wicket, coming to bowl from the south end. Gets through this time. It's a bad miss at point. And uh, Jawad picks up a very useful boundary. That won't make the captain or the bowler happy. Drives. That's nicely played. Just deflecting it past that uh, man at short third and using the pace of the ball delightful shot made it very late and the Sri Lankan flags flutter 14th boundary for them they need a few big boundaries like this one beautifully played just again using the pace of the ball and uh, virtually steering it in that region very well played indeed Glorious shot. Short, width, and he slammed it through the offside. Abdul Razak bowled that last delivery at 74.9 miles an hour. That's no pace, really, to bowl short. Gives uh, Jayabodhan another easy opportunity. Pakistan on top. Sri Lanka can claw back. And that's what the Pakistanis have got to be careful of. They've got boundaries. They've got this scoreboard ticking now, Ranjit, and as you said, a very, very useful partnership. A wonderful shot, as you said. He kept the length so well. Yeah, we've got that uh, front. This ball. Good delivery. Just a run out. That's gone. Looks like that is out. The umpire, Shastri, going for the third umpire, but the look of it, it looks short from here. Imran Nazir was a fielder and really was... Uh, a quality piece of feeling. He got there with time to spare at time to aim the stumps and he was nowhere in the picture. Brilliant piece of cricket from Pakistan and Imran Nazir in particular. He's such an important... He's out of there. 141 for 6 as we have another look at this one. 
it was always going to be risky. Quick gather and uh, bullseye. And Shastri was convinced in his mind that he was a goner. It's a holiday here, no doubt about that. But look at this crowd. It's amazing. It's nice to see such a crowd here in Abu Dhabi. We haven't really seen much a crowd in the World Cup even. But look at this here in Abu Dhabi. They were just waiting for this tournament to come on. And look at this. The people waiting outside. The... the response has been uh, amazing, really. Whether the heat and uh, the transport facilities to the ground are not great. You have to be on your own uh, transport to get here, which is a fair way away from uh, the city centre. Delightful drive to the offside. Great piece of timing from Maru. He has probably played the shot of the day. Didn't really try to hit it too hard. A punchy drive off the back foot. Challenge for uh, Mohamed Yusuf. He comes second in that challenge. Very quick outfield, but more than that, it was a delightful drive once again from Maruf. Hardly seemed to have hit that one. Deep shot and uh, well placed. Silva is a good looking player. He's four away from his 50 and uh, providing Sri Lanka with, uh, with a bit of hope and promise. Stretched himself forward and almost took the leg empire with himself with, with that shot. Nice roll of the wrist. So welcome. Another good singer. That might be trouble, but suddenly go to the third umpire. Pakistan is think they had him. I get the feeling that he may have got in. I'm gonna go the other way, Ranger. I reckon whenever there's a direct hit, it's always normally always out. Runs that doing the fielding. And he's gone out by about four or five inches in the end. Terrific piece of fielding. And you're going to see the red light. So this might spell disaster for... Well, this time he gets a thin edge and that's running down for four. You still run for Sri Lanka. Well, not much for that can do about that. He's getting worked up because he did everything right, put the ball exactly where he wanted to. Ah, her roof, a thin edge. Oh, a beautiful shot. Charged at the delivery and hit it straight past the ball. Picked his area really well here, ah, uh, roof. Straight back down the ground. Generally, never any fooders behind the bowler's arm. Once again, he does it down to the deep third man boundary. Good shot again. Showing innovation. He's done it again. This game. Ball in. That was fast and straight. Malinger looking for the big shot. Looking to get it over mid-wicket. Missing it completely. Umar Bull gets his third wicket. High fives all round. Pretty happy. Good over. Another inside edge. Seen a few of those tonight. Inside edge back on to the off stump. It's been a good over from Bull. Malinga Bandara has to go for Sassim. That's blood in the way. What a good shot. He saw that gap in that mid wicket region. Gave himself the room. To virtually snap at it that away. Just clears the front leg here, Maharu. Right, it was almost baseball style. Mid wicket inside the the circle. So anything over his head one did um, try and convert the start. But that's his 15. Again, gave himself room and picked up the single. The second ODI 50, but a very valuable one. 
Now you're right, he gets the round of applause from his teammates. Looks to the heavens. He's played well for his side. Young man on the rise, I feel. Ball in. Excellent delivery in the block ball. And uh, that's it, Malaga didn't know much about that. Straight through the defences there at Malinga. Sonny gets his first wicket of the night. Very full delivery. And ricocheted off the back of his pad onto the stumps. So Malinga, clean bowl by Sammy for three. Sri Lanka Tottenham, 15 for nine. That's a great shot. Beats the man down in the deep at the long one. Placement was good. Yeah, the placement was good, but the length from Sammy wasn't. Just down down the ground and cleared the man. What a fine shot. The time was exquisite. Just went on and on. Flags fluttering away. This has been a ball down the ground. Oh, what a glorious shot that this was. Almost straight down the pitch. There was a man that took it off with a lot of hunger. And he chips it over. That. Short fine, very well played indeed. Cleverly put away. So 14 off that last. So a good bowling display from Pakistan kept the Sri Lankan batting lineup in check, uh, with wickets being shared across the board, with the star bowler being Umar Gul with uh, three wickets. However, uh, a good cameo by the Sri Lankan bowler Farviz Maharouf, uh, who is known for some batting skills, uh, with a good 69 runs off 54 balls, took the Sri Lankan total to a respectable score of 235 for nine. Unfortunately, I apologize, I do not have the highlights from the second innings of this game, but I'll just give you a quick highlight. Uh, there was a decent display by the top order uh, by the Pakistan team, and then a good partnership of Kamran Akmal and Shahid Afridi led Pakistan to a five-wicket victory. Uh, Pakistan won the game after finishing on 239 for five. I will have highlights from both the uh, innings uh, for the next game. Uh, that I will upload which is the second one day game of this series so again I apologize I didn't have them today but I will provide highlights of both innings next time uh, until next time uh, please take care and goodbye